The Salem Witch Trials Unraveling the Dark Chapter of Colonial America The Salem Witch Trials stand as a haunting reminder of a tumultuous period in colonial American history. In the late 17th century, the small village of Salem, Massachusetts, became the epicenter of a frenzy that resulted in the wrongful accusation, imprisonment, and execution of numerous individuals, predominantly women, accused of witchcraft. This dark chapter unfolded amidst a backdrop of religious fervor, social tensions, and political instability, leaving an indelible mark on the collective memory of America. The origins of the Salem Witch Trials can be traced back to the strict puritanical society of Massachusetts Bay Colony. Established by English settlers seeking religious freedom, Puritanism governed daily life in Salem, dictating rigid moral codes and stringent adherence to the teachings of the Bible. Any deviation from these norms was viewed with suspicion and often met with harsh consequences. In the early months of 1692, the tranquil village of Salem was plunged into chaos when accusations of witchcraft surfaced. The first to be accused were Tatuba, an enslaved woman of Caribbean descent, and two local women, Sarah Good and Sarah Osborne. Their alleged crimes ignited a hysteria that quickly spread throughout the community. Fear and paranoia gripped Salem as accusations of witchcraft multiplied, fueled by superstition, religious fanaticism, and personal vendettas. The trials themselves were marked by a lack of due process and a fervent belief in the supernatural. The accused were subjected to harsh interrogations, often under duress or torture, and were denied the right to legal representation. Testimony was based on hearsay, spectral evidence, and coerced confessions leading to swift convictions and harsh punishments. Throughout the summer of 1692, the Salem Witch Trials reached a fever pitch as dozens of individuals, predominantly women, were arrested, tried, and sentenced to death. The accused faced public condemnation and ostracism, their lives torn asunder by baseless accusations and societal hysteria. By the time the trials came to an end in early 1693, over 20 people had been executed, and countless others had been imprisoned or exiled. The legacy of the Salem Witch Trials is one of tragedy and injustice. In the aftermath of the hysteria, the realization dawned that innocent lives had been sacrificed to mass hysteria and religious zealotry. The trials exposed the dangers of unchecked power, the fragility of justice, and the perils of succumbing to fear and prejudice. In the centuries that followed, the Salem Witch Trials have been studied, analyzed and memorialized as a cautionary tale of the consequences of intolerance and hysteria. Scholars have sought to understand the societal, cultural, and psychological factors that contributed to the witch hunt, shedding light on the complex dynamics at play in colonial America. One enduring legacy of the Salem Witch Trials is the recognition of the importance of due process, individual rights, and the rule of law. The trials prompted calls for reform and led to the adoption of legal safeguards to protect against miscarriages of justice. The tragedy of Salem serves as a reminder of the dangers of allowing fear and prejudice to dictate the course of justice. In conclusion, the Salem Witch Trials represent a dark chapter in American history characterized by hysteria, injustice, and tragedy. The events that unfolded in Salem serve as a sobering reminder of the dangers of intolerance and the importance of upholding the principles of justice and equality. As we reflect on this tragic episode, may we strive to learn from the mistakes of the past and work towards building a more just and compassionate society for all. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.